Praise God. Praise God. It is about two o'clock in the morning. Praise God. Praise God. Um, I, I, I've been putting dust set the Lord on Facebook, I think, um, earlier tonight and just now, um, God is, <laughs> God is real people. God is very real. And I'm talking to you right now by the spirit of God. And I pray that you listen to me with every fiber of you being. I'm very, very serious. I've, I'm always serious, but I'm more serious right now. Um, I took a nap earlier when I woke up. And that was about like around maybe 10 o'clock. I woke up 10, 30, something like that. And I'm here to tell you right now, God has been speaking to me since then. And it has not been pretty. Um, it has been very serious. It has been very intense. It has my spirit um, sad because he's not pleased. And I'm not kidding. You know, this world teaches us. Well, it used to be a world that's under God, but now it's a world under man. Let's just be real. Man, woman, beast, whatever. And God is very displeased. And I've been hearing him so loud for the last, what, I don't know, four or five hours. I don't even remember how many hours it is. And all I keep hearing him saying is, tell them the window has closed. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I, and I, I, I might say it for three more days. That's how serious it was. The window has closed. What do you mean, Apostle? God say, officially, playtime is over. God say, I have put up with everything. I'm a loving God. People have forgotten me. People disrespect my people. People disrespect my church. People disrespect my laws. I'm telling you right now. God is serious. I'm telling you, God is serious. And yes, it's to scare you. Yes, it is because that's how serious and intense it was. I'm not kidding. I'm very, very serious. God said he tired of people lying. He tired of people cooking. He tired of people crooking. And he tired. He said that the church has forgotten his name, his holy ways. God is not hip. God is not hip hop. God is not, um, come on, have swag. God, God ain't into none of this stuff that the church didn't made it about. God said, I am holy. Hallelujah. He said, I'm holy. Y'all don't hear what I just said. He said, I'm holy. He's saying they got to understand that I am holy and I decree and declare holiness. He said, he's not letting none slide no more. He said, he's not letting none slide no more. He says he's not letting nothing slide no more. And, and hold on. This word is for me too. So don't get it twisted. He said we know better. And we should do better as a church. He said people on Facebook lying. Everybody are after money. Everybody after fame. Everybody after a name. He say people going to start dying. In the pulpit. He say he tired of the stuff that's going on in the secret place. That means in front of everybody is hallelujah, amen, glory to God, God I love you, you want to perpetrate in the church. He said, but behind closed door, you're sleeping with each other, you're hooking with each other, you're crooking with each other, you're plotting on each other, you're robbing each other, you're stealing from, y'all don't hear what I just said. God said it's worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. And he said just as he have destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, he said he don't mind destroying again. Y'all don't hear what I just said. Y'all don't hear what I just said. He said I'm coming back for a blameless and spotless church. And I mean just that. And he said all oh, the minute. Tell them that's my church. Every pastor, preacher, apostle, that's God's church. That ain't your church. He said tell them that's my people. Quit lying to his people. Quit deceiving his people. Quit tricking his people. Hallelujah to his name. I'm telling you what God say. God say he's tired. And I'm not kidding. He say he's tired of people. Deception. I kept hearing the word deception. Deceiving. Deceiving. Everything is about money. He say the God of this world have blinded most of the people. He said, everybody's into numbers. Everybody's into followers. Everybody want to have a status. Everybody want to be branded. He said, everybody is impressed with man. He said, but they're not impressed with me. They don't love me. They only love me when they want from me. 
Y'all don't hear what I'm saying tonight or this morning. God said, it, it, it's, it's like we just, we just want him when it's good. God bless me. God bless me. He said, but what have we done for him? Have we really obeyed him? Have we really served him with a true heart? He said, you're better than what you've been doing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. I'm just telling you what God say. And no, this is not a pretty message. I'm sure some going to be offended. Because, you know, let's just be real. We, we, don't like, we, we don't like the truth. Oh, come on. Let's just be real. We don't like the truth. And the truth hits us. The truth hits us to the core of our spirit. And I, and I keep telling you, he says, the biggest devils are in churches. Oh, come on, somebody. Somebody going to say, oh, oh she's talking about churches. Yes, I am. I'm telling you what God say. He say, remember Satan. He transforms himself into an angel of light. Some of y'all following the biggest warlocks and witches and you don't even know it. Because guess what? You don't have wisdom and discernment. We're in a serious time, church. God says that physical death is nothing because he can save your soul. He said, but the death that the church is facing right now, and not just the church, people, period, he said, is a spiritual death. He said, there are spiritual zombies walking among his people. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So, my brothers and my sisters, I pray that you take this just as serious as I'm delivering it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because I'm not kidding. Have you ever had your stomach turn? You know when your stomach turn, it means it hits the core of your spirit. My stomach is turning right now. God have been in my ear for hours. I can't tell y'all the last time God took this long talking to me. Not hours like this, and it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. It, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. It wasn't pretty. Got me all scared for y'all and for me because I'm included too, whether you like it or not. I may not be doing what everybody doing, but I'm still part of the part of the church. Hello, I'm just a servant that's telling you everything he's saying, but I'm still part of it too. Hello. And people think this is a game. God is not to be played with. Hallelujah to his name. If you're perpetrating, if you're doing stuff, I suggest you repent. I suggest you repent. I suggest you repent. Because when you die, I'm telling you right now, if you're not saved, you know where you're going. People keep thinking it's a game. Hell is real, people. Hell is real. Maybe I need to say that again. Hell is real. People don't like that kind of talk no more. Tell me about the blessing. No, tell me how to stay saved. Tell me how not to go to hell. Now, that's a true Christian talking. Hallelujah to his name. Woo. I just got on here to tell y'all what this said the Lord. He said, tell them the window is closed. There is no more time for playing. He said he see everything. He hear everything. He said, and it's funny. He said, because he's laughing at the people that think, oh, I ain't got away with it. He said, tell them. No one gets away with anything. Did y'all hear what I just said? Not me, not you. Just because you ain't paid for it right now. Just because you haven't seen the consequences right now. He say, trust him. The calamity is coming. And he said he will laugh when it comes. Because some people think they didn't got away with what they did, how they did when they did what they did. Hallelujah to his name. Church, we got to repent. Church, we got to repent. Church, we got to repent. That's where we at. My stomach is still turning, y'all. I promise you it is. My stomach is literally turning. I haven't felt like this. I can't tell you when. And like I said, I woke up around 10, 10, 30. God has been speaking since. What, that's about three, four hours? I kind of stretched it um, before. But I think it was three, four hours consistently. And it, and like I say, it was very stern. And when God gets like that, it, yes, it does scare me because I know he's not playing. And you should know that too by now. So that's all he had to say. I've already put the other stuff on there, how death going to be in a pulpit, how people going to start dying in the churches. God, and oh, thank you, Lord. Facebook, 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 Facebook got people going to hell. God don't like you. Y'all Y'all think I'd be lying. Let me tell y'all something. Ain't nobody hating on nobody. I didn't had a good life. Let me tell y'all about Apostle Deanna Dixon. If I die to death tomorrow, God have been good to me. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So I ain't jealous of nobody. Could care less what people do. But I'm telling you what God say. They lying on Facebook. They getting money on Facebook. It's all about numbers on Facebook. 
And, and that's a spirit. Y'all don't understand. That's a spirit. So the more they get, the more they want. Until they don't even see. Because the Bible says that even in the last hour, the elect should be fairy food. Y'all don't hear what I just said. The Bible says that even the elect should be food. So, so some of y'all that think you're smart, you don't know who you follow unless you ask God. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. I know it ain't pretty. It ain't supposed to be. I'm giving it just the way he gave it to me. Hello, how you doing? Woo! Y'all better pass the word. Y'all better pass the word. That's all I can say. And to be honest with you, sometimes I laugh. God don't really need us, huh? He's speaking already, huh? Y'all don't see it? All you got to do is look around. But he loves us that much until he'll still send a voice, whether you listen or not. That ain't my concern. My concern is just that I get it out and I tell you all. And yes, people don't like it. Oh, no, they get offended. <laughs> how dare? No, how dare you? Playing with God. Are you serious? You get us all messed up. Y'all don't y'all remember back in the, before Jesus Christ when one did it, everybody got it. Well, guess what? Hello. Some of that still apply. Come on, somebody. Some of that still apply. So I pray that we get it together in Jesus' name. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon with a Thus Saith the Lord. I love you all and I tell you the truth by God. My God, my God. I hope I hope y'all see what time it is. And um, I have a lot. I want y'all to um, really pass the word and stay tuned. I have some Thus Saith the Lord that I have to do. I will be doing um, on lives. It's it's very it's very deep, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. The the stuff I have to put out in the next week, y'all not gonna like it. I'm gonna tell you. I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare some of you. Y'all not gonna like it. I didn't like it. I'm telling you, and it's gonna be some scary stuff. I'm telling y'all, it's coming, you guys. It's coming. It's coming quicker than y'all think. And all God is doing is trying to prepare us. So you can't get mad. Revelation, it, it was written. So ain't nothing going to be able to stop it. People be like, oh, well, God, gonna do that, that, that's not reality. Reality is, let's get ready. How about that? Now, that's reality. All right, you guys. I love you guys. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who you are. God bless. <laughs>